How you rolling in a room with God? No, I'm not even a bit stopped. Yelling at my mama like I know you hear me. Repeat. Bro, like just looking at the cover itself, you already know that this Saba album is gonna be fire. What's up, man? Welcome back if you're not new, but if you're new, what's up? I'm Master Steve, and I'm a producer right here in Chicago. So today, we have an album that I've been, man, excited for for the longest. I mean, Saba also a Chicago native, so, you know, we gotta, I gotta represent the, the Chicago people out here, man. Pivot Game, shout out to them. Saba is an artist that I really do enjoy, man. He made some phenomenal music, dude, like, hands down care for me is hands down my favorite album from saba but it was the bucket list project for me that really made me <laughs> attached to saba it made me realize how dope of artist he really was me personally my favorite tracks are calligraphy heaven all around me i mean the thing about his production man it just, it just be so insane to the point where it's so many instrumentation uh, that makes you just feel, but also the lyricism is there as well that, that just keeps you. But I'm expecting the same thing on this project. I mean, this album came literally three years after Care For Me. So he had a good amount of time to really focus on making this project phenomenal. The singles that I heard were great. Ziplock was phenomenal. Stop That was also great. But I haven't heard Come My Way, Survivor's Guilt, or Phil Monger. So I'm excited to see what this album brings. So let's not waste no more time, man. Let's get into it. Master Steve, y'all. 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 Steve, Wow. wow he's gonna come with that heat oh he's coming with that heat on this album oh my gosh to just start it off with just with a voice that i personally never heard from i think what she chef chefly chiefly oh my gosh man very beautiful voice a very beautiful voice but then doing something as unique as using the bass as chords to be the premise of the song that is phenomenal i would never think to do that to be honest but i know a guy named daniel maswell one of the best bass players i know who used to always do that before performing for a live show and i thought that was the most beautiful thing so for me personally man that hit that hit home for me like i, I thought that was very beautiful and then the jazz drums on top of that that gives a whole other rhythm and then saba just came in flowing so well to the point where it's like wow i wouldn't even have approached that that way he added a personal effect on there for the first song like he, he talked about how you know he, he grew up in a struggle you know getting hand-me-downs and how things even get harder even the more famous and the more known you get that is the first song and <laughs> i'm already amazed bro like like i said the production is always on point for saba so i expected nothing less That gives me, if you work it, let me work it. And I'll put your thing down, flip it in reverse. And it's yours, it give me yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just love how he's continuing to use like the the bass as a premise in these songs. Oh, of course. Oh, the production is crazy. Oh. Wow, man. It sounds like you just listen to like a orchestra. Or you're watching a movie and you're listening to the, the soundtrack for the movie or the score for the movie. That's how full the instrumentation sounds on all of his production, bro. Like the first two tracks are phenomenal. And he's already doing something that's not used on a day to day basis. Like who uses chorus for a bass? Uh, the elements on that production was just phenomenal. I think the hook was crazy. And it just shows you how many deliveries that Saba has as well. That one was a little bit more like a lazier delivery. But I think that it was perfect for the song because it's, the, the production was just a laid back, chill, vibey song anyways. And then to tell a story that is not just one way. 
Like, I, I love that. That's a great theme for a song. And it's something that makes me kind of feel relieved just listening to it. It kind of gives you the same fact as I deserve it. Like, it just makes you just feel good after listening to it. And I gotta put my headphones on, man. This junk is just sounding so good. I got I gotta hear every single element. Like, oh my gosh. Saba is talking to me today. <laughs> Bro, that chant is so freaking great. It sounds so full. It's spread out so much in your ears. I love it, man. I think Saba is really good when it comes to just uh, layering his voice. We're three tracks in, but there's three different types of approaches that Saba took with these songs, which I do love. G Herbal, man. G Herbal is a guy that I do like. Uh, his verses was also pretty good. Very fitting. I love how this was just like straight bars, but... The thing about G Herbo, man, like it was a great feature, but Saba came so hard to the point where he still had the best verse, hands down. Like he 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 just demolished it. Like he he was talking to you the entire time, and you and he made you want to listen. <laughs> that dude said, "You going to hear me today?" Ah. Uh. Blink, motherfucker. <laughs> I love that. What? That song was that short? No way. No, it was only a minute. Oh my gosh. It was so good in a minute. I get, it's an interlude. Okay. Okay. I understand. But man, that was so great. I I, I want to say that uh, Saba was the one with his high vocal. I, correct me if I'm wrong. I think he just pitched it up, but I did love that. That's again, another way to change up his delivery on a song. I love how there was an incorporation of a guitar there that time. And man, the vocal layers with, uh, with Aaron was freaking phenomenal. I think that sounded so full and so just melodic. I love that. But we got four songs in and there's still no misses. <laughs> <laughs> this gives me so much like just uh andre 3000 vibes just the way that the layers are and the way that he's delivering in so many different ways and just this one song it's like <laughs> but also i am just like it's so 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 much going on here and i really do love it uh i'm, I'm glad that smino is coming on this album because this is a song that i could see smino also just killing and giving the whole other feel as well so far but i'm liking what i'm hearing so far mm. no option i love that mm. Woo. wow Oh, <laughs> Ooh. bro, what a ending. What a ending. Oh my gosh. There's so much things going on with this instrumentation to the point where it's like you just listening to so much and, and ah, and, and so little of a time, man. Like, I knew Saba was nice, but dang, I didn't know he can give you this many deliveries. Like, gosh. And goodness gracious, dude. Like, the. Production itself is a hundred percent funk, a hundred percent funk. Got that nice like guitar going on in the background, a nice synth bass along with I think a lot of bass is in there as well. Uh, I love the clapping to make it feel good. And then also, man, gosh, just <laughs> the this is the, the the drums, uh, percussion selection was just phenomenal as well. Wow, I'm. That might be one of my favorite ones so far. And it's it's already tough to kind of choose which ones are my favorites just because it's so good. Man, I had to take a second just to freaking regather myself after that one because that was just that was just insane. Like the production is just so missed well. Oh, the way it's missed is so freaking great, dude. Like, it goes from one ear to the next ear. It sounds so full when the hook comes in. The flow is just crazy. 
Uh, and I love just the same consistency in the instrumentation, man. That guitar is still going throughout the track. Uh, but instead of a live bass this time, you hear more of the 808 bass, hit, bass hitting. The percussion just sounds so freaking great. It, like, I don't know what pass they be using, but I need to find out because it is amazing. Wow. And it'll be good. I love that. And it'll be good. Production is really good at adding so many different elements into one. Like, it has that nice hip hop feel, but also the outro itself just makes you come back to like that jazzier feel and it's like yes i must still bring my jazz elements into my music my craft which is perfect for saba i also love how all of the features are really matching saba's energy yes saba is killing it but at the same time these features were the perfect fit for each of these tracks I, there there wasn't really one feature on here so far that i've heard that that didn't that didn't lose you you know what i'm saying like i, I feel like every single one keeps you there in the song and keeps you engaged Still smoking like crazy, still can't believe this is all real. Wow. Yeah. But I got moves to make. There's so many people working for me nowadays that I don't even know who I pay. Mmm. Black on this hook is so perfect. Still, my life is like a film. Set in a different realm. I'm still trying to decide how I feel. Just love his voice. Smino, man, Smino is another guy that gives phenomenal layers as well, and that combination is just so freaking perfect. These are two people that I have on my goal list to collab with. I want to collab with Saba, and I want to collab with Smino. Very talented artists, and they both just bring so much uniqueness to a track to the point where it's like, man, it's, it's like they just redefine how you can write and deliver a verse on the track but again the production matches that energy both verses were just so good to the point where i don't want to compare it i, I added it to my playlist definitely will be coming back to this one for sure <laughs> oh that that bounce Ooh. I love how there's like a mess of just that 808 and then his high pitch uh, singing there. Mariba's voice is just so lovely. And the song is already giving you so much already. And you just add Mariba to the mix. Like, you just trying to just connect to my soul here right now. Like, it just sounds so good. Like, the combinations is just ridiculous. Very great selections when it came to features, man. Like, very great selections. Ooh. The key change? What a song, man. What a song. Like, <laughs> so freaking speechless, man. Like, what a song. Cause the play the part of father is the sacred art style city made a mark upon us. I'ma say that our father all I can Wow. Ooh. <laughs> I thought I was gonna go in a whole different direction, but the way that it just came right back into uh the original production was phenomenal. It kinda gives me like Kanye vibes the way he always, you know, takes you to like a classic sample and right back to uh, more of his synthetic sounds, bro. I, so I, man, I love that. <laughs> I love that. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh! You know when they when they cut the the sample earlier, I knew something was coming. I didn't expect that to come. But that was freaking phenomenal. Wow, that was great. Man. When I say this, like, when I talk about a great album, this is what I mean, man. Like, this is so good. And we still have, what, five songs left in the album? It's like, yo, you're giving us more? And it's already, like, great nine songs in, no misses? Like, this is this is Grammy material, man. If I had a dollar inside my fed, I'd be a rich nigga. I'm already liking the theme of the song, man. If I had a dollar for every fear, every time I lost, I, I'm I'm loving the way it's going from a lyricism standpoint already, and I'm only <laughs> not even a minute, thirty seconds in, bro. 
Uh. It just caught my attention from the start to the finish, and I love that. Oh, man. The production was phenomenal, and it was more simpler than the production above, but it also just sounded so full and complete. You don't need too much going on for it to be such a complete beat, and that just did everything well in so many different ways. I loved it. Ooh. vacation like internet bandwidth was lagging it's feel like it's back in the day yo gosh it's, it's crazy how he uses like the synth sounds uh just to make it sound so mean doing that chant part but that chant is just so freaking ooh. as soon as you hear it, you just like mm. you just you just want to like fight somebody or something <laughs> maybe not fight somebody maybe maybe not that aggressive but that was really good. <laughs> he came as hard as he did on the first track uh, with, with that one, man. Even uh, Survivor's Guilt. Like, he, he's just coming hard on every single track, bro. But this is another standout track that just, like, make you think, like, ooh. Ooh, this dude nasty. It's food on the table. I'm grateful. I don't give a fuck about a label. Yeah, they put a meal on the table, but my granny really put meals on the table. Wow. The label mate put meals on the table, but my Grammy put meals on the table. Oh, man, bro. He's such a great lyricist. Mm. That, them violins, man. Like, Every single feature that Saba has been using, it just, they make you just drag in and, and just pay attention. And the songs that's on this album, man, you really do want to pay attention because it's just so freaking phenomenal. I, I can't wait to go back and listen to every one of these tracks. <laughs> Just the fact that he just went back to the first song of the album with the bass uh, to conclude the album. Amazing. This album was phenomenal, man. Like, I, wow. The production was phenomenal. The deliveries was phenomenal. The, the features was phenomenal. Like, some of his storytelling just makes you learn more about previous situations his love life his friendships some of the people that he lost it even has some 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 storytelling that motivated you uh some contentment um realizing that dang everything he had was something that he needed in life and how he really honestly enjoyed every process of his life even though some of it might have been tougher than others look he is a very great storyteller he is a very amazing amazing artist in general Singing is phenomenal, uh, and the layers from an engineering standpoint is just great as well. I'm definitely excited to see uh, how this album does and performs on the charts. Uh, I hope it gets great respect because he really deserves it, man. And I see why he took three years just to release his project. You can tell you took his time and you can tell how much he grew from Care For Me. So yeah, man, let me know in the comment section how y'all feel about the album. I'm curious. I did truly love it uh, from all aspects. Uh, so let me know how y'all feel about the album. And uh, hit that subscribe button for me. Until next time, y'all. Mr. Steve, y'all.